everyone, so today I am going to be filming my hair care routine, which has been a really long time coming. I think it's been around two years since I filmed my last one. And I was a little bit on the fence about doing an updated one because the majority of my routine doesn't change. There are some products that are set and I always use them on my hair. But recently there have been a few changes to products and things like that, so I thought today I would just bite the bullet and talk to you guys about this. Get yourself a cup of tea, this could be a long one. So before we get started, I'm gonna run you through my hair type, which this is my hair completely natural. I've just washed it and used a couple of products on it that are more leave-in conditioner type things, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But as you can see, it's kind of got a beach wave to it. It's quite coarse, it's not the softest hair I've ever felt in my life, but it's also not really, really, really dry and really coarse. So it's kind of that in the middle. It's very malleable, which means that I can curl it and it will keep a curl, or I can straighten it and it will stay straight, or I can leave it like this, and it kind of stays like this for a few days and then falls a bit straight. But a lot of people do ask why I don't have it like this all the time, and the reason for that is that it is so hard to maintain because it does kind of just fall a bit meh after kind of two days, and I can't brush it because it just goes like Hermione from Harry Potter. If you've watched that and you've seen her kind of frizzy triangle hair, that is what this will do if I brush it. So this is me completely like out the shower. My hair's just about dried. There's a few bits in here that are still a bit damp. And it has taken ages to dry as well because I've left it like this. So if I straighten it or curl it, I get to blow dry it, which just is so much quicker and easier. Oh, and I also wanted to talk to you about what I got done colour-wise on my hair because I know a lot of you ask about the colour. Um, the root colour and this kind of dark Albany colour you see is my natural hair colour. There's no number that I can give you for it and there's no colour name because that is just what my body makes naturally. That's the colour that my hair is and it does go very kind of ready on the ends, especially when the sun hits it. Um, so yeah, that is for the most part my natural colour and then slightly underneath and on the front here I have some kind of blonde highlights which are kind of a balayage dip, di dip dye mix. So you can kind of see more on the underneath it kind of starts around here and there are some very subtle kind of balayage highlights and for those of you that don't know balayage is where your hairdresser kind of back combs your hair a lot and then the hair that's left over they then dye that a certain amount of it um, and kind of make that lighter. I am so not a hairdresser, you can tell by the way I just explained that. But anyway, that is what is going on with my hair. So yeah, that is the backstory on my hair and today I'm gonna to talk you through the kind of hair care routine, products, um, a little bit on styling and then my tips for kind of growing your hair longer. So I'm gonna get started on the products I use for different things and before I go ahead, I just wanted to remind everyone that I'm not a hair professional. So some of the things I use might not be the best thing out there that you could use for that job, but it's just what works for me. And everyone's hair is different, so although it works on my hair, it might not work on your hair, even if your hair is very, very similar. So it's all personal preference, but this is what I like to use. So I'm going to get started on the products that I use to wash my hair. I am going to get started with the ones that I'm using currently. So because I have my hair coloured recently, I've been using the L'Oreal El Vive Colour Protect Caring Shampoo and Conditioner. I've actually used these before. I've had my hair coloured in the past, and I've always used these Colour Protect shampoos and conditioners for my coloured hair because they're just really inexpensive and when there's times where I might just chop the dye out, I don't like to spend lots and lots of money on colour protect shampoos and conditioners because I just never know how long I'm going to keep a colour for. So I just like to not spend too much on those, but these are really good for their price. And they smell amazing as well. So I just wash my hair with those at the moment. Before I was using those, I was actually using two sets of sulfate free shampoos and conditioners. And this was just on my personal preference on a daily basis as to which ones I used. The first set is from Bubble and Bumble and it's their Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner and these are sulfate free, really amazing smelling shampoos and conditioners. And I really enjoyed using these over the summer. They gave kind of second day hair to my first day washed hair, which when I was kind of straightening it, it was so much easier to have that extra little bit of grip to my hair rather than just fluffy straight hair that was a bit hard to deal with so these were amazing. And then the L'Oreal Everish No Sulfates Nourishing Care System shampoo and conditioners were pretty much the same, just a thicker consistency and they still left my hair feeling like second day hair on the first day which I loved and really helped to make my hair more manageable. So if you don't have coloured hair but you're looking for a really really good shampoo and conditioner that is more budget, 
I would definitely recommend these. I've gone through so many bottles of this now and I just love it. So those are the products that I use on a daily basis. And then I have a couple of things that I use when I'm washing my hair if I want to give a bit more nourishment. The first one being the Dove Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Express Treatment Conditioner with Weightless Nutrients and Argan Oil. Long name, I don't know which part of it is actually the name of this product, but it's basically a really lovely thick nourishing conditioner and I've been using this for about four or five years now and I really like it. It's a really cool intensive conditioner that comes out looking a bit like toothpaste. So it has the kind of white and gold spiral like toothpaste does as it comes out, which I've always really, really liked about it. And it smells amazing as well and just leaves my hair feeling really nice and nourished and it always helps for it to feel a lot smoother and healthier if I've gone through a lot of heat styling or a lot of dyeing recently. It just is my one thing that I love using regularly to help it feel a little bit more healthy. And then for times when my hair needs some serious TLC, I use the Sasha Joanne Hair Repair, which is just the best thing out there for healthy feeling hair. I started using this at the beginning of the year because I do a lot of photo shoots and a lot of heat styling goes on my hair and I knew that I wanted to dye it at some point this year. So I started using this because I wanted to make sure that it still kept the length and was still strong whilst going through all of that. The smell of this isn't amazing, I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of very old fashioned soaps and I'm not really into that at all. I think some people might love it, but I'm not really into that. But for the hair care benefits, I think this is amazing. I don't use it too often because I think that overusing really kind of repairing and conditioning products can actually damage your hair even more. I think it just helps it to be a bit too soft and break. I don't know if that's actually true. Someone let me know in the comments, but I use this kind of every one to two weeks depending on how much it needs it. So depending on whether it's been dyed recently, when I first had my hair dyed, I use this kind of once a week for the first couple of weeks. And now I just use it every kind of two to three weeks and it is awesome. And after I'm done washing my hair, I just wrap it in a towel, leave that on my head for about 10 minutes and then just take it out and kind of leave my hair to air dry until it's around 80% dry. And then once it gets to that stage, I'll do whatever kind of styling I'm going to do. So today I obviously didn't do too much at all to my hair, but the one thing I did use was the L'Oreal El Vive Color Protect Conditioning Protecting Leave-In Spray. It's got a lot of writing on the bottle. I'm not really sure where to stop telling you what it says. It's one of those leave-in conditioners that has kind of color protecting properties in it. So it has UVA and UVB filters. And I really like that because it just means that the highlighted bits at the front of my hair aren't going to be lightened too much. My hair is very sensitive to the sun as it is and with the blonde in it as well it just lightens super quickly so I'm trying to get it to not lighten too much because I'm really happy with the colour as it is at the moment. And then I also just gave my hair a little spritz around the roots with the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray which is one of my favourite hair products in the world. I've been using this for about a year and a half now and it just gives loads of volume and thickness to your roots and my hair can fall really flat especially when I leave it like this. I haven't blow dried it upside down or anything that I would usually do to it so this just helps to give it a bit more volume at the roots than it would normally have. I just use it every single time I blow dry my hair and it makes it so thick and I love it. So next up I'm going to talk to you about the products that I use if I'm wearing my hair straight. So like I said before I start with spraying the Orbe Maximista the thickening spray just in the roots of my hair and then through the ends I use the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Primer which is basically a detangler UV filter one of those kind of products it's actually very similar to the L'Oreal El Vive Color Protect um, conditioning spray so if you're looking for a kind of more budget affordable dupe then I would definitely pick this up it's just one of the best detanglers I've tried so I spray that through the ends because it makes the whole blow drying process so much easier and it also has heat protectant in it. So I love that because it just adds that extra bit of defense that I want for my hair. And then I also use the L'Oreal Studio Line Hot Straight Cream. I have been using this since Beyonce advertised it in 2004. I think it was 2004, I was 13 and I'd only just started straightening my hair. And my mum said, if you want to straighten your hair, you need to use a heat protectant. Wise words, mum, wise words. So I started using this because it was really affordable and it was a cream as opposed to just kind of a serum and it kind of weighed down my hair a bit more, which when I want my hair straight and to stay straight, I actually like that extra little bit of weight because it just keeps it straight. And my hair used to be a lot more curly than it was now. It's kind of relaxed in the past few years, but it used to be a lot curlier and a lot frizzier. And especially in the winter, I needed that extra weight and smoothing to kind of keep it 
in place because otherwise it just got a bit wild and bushy and crazy. Once those are all on my hair, I just blow dry it straight. I use a paddle brush and I use the Babyliss um, Pro Hair Dryer, I think that's what it's called. I'll put it down in the description box and I just put that on the medium heat um, on the medium kind of setting and blow dry my hair. And then after that I straighten it and I use the GHD V Styler Wonderland. I do prefer the original GHDs as opposed to those ones. They just give a better grip and when you want to curl your hair with them, which I'll talk about in a minute, it's just much easier and less slippy. So that is straightening, but if I'm going to curl my hair, the process is actually very, very similar to start off with, except I just blow dry my hair without the L'Oreal Hot Straight, because obviously that's gonna weigh it down, and it's not going to help my curls be as bouncy and curly as they could be, because this really does lend itself more to straightening. So for curling, I just use the Invisible Oil Primer as my heat protectant, and then give it a quick rough blow dryer. Don't try and blow dry it as straight, because it doesn't really matter because I'm going to curl it and then I just curl my hair with my GHD V stylers and I'll link my hair styling video up below so that you can go and watch and see how I straighten it how I curl it and there's a few other hairstyles that I do really regularly in there and it's all in one big tutorial so I'll link that below if you want to see me curling my hair in action so to curl my hair I put it into sections and after each section has been curled I use the L'Oreal L Net Satin volume excess hairspray just to give it a bit of extra hold and I do find that using this really does make all the difference in how long my curls stay for. If I use this I can have them curled for days and it just doesn't drop out so I love using this. And then sometimes I find my hair can look a little bit frazzled with all of the curling because I find that it's way worse for my hair than straightening. It just looks super frazzled if I do it all the time so to give it a little bit of extra shine and gloss I use the Lizelle Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil and this is a really nice hair oil. It smells kind of nice and like botanical smelling. I don't know, like a bit herbally. I think that's the word, we'll go with herbally. <laughs> but this is a really nice oil and you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. So I'm not actually that far through it, but I've been using it for around a year now and it just gives a really nice gloss to your hair. And that gloss makes it look a lot more nourished and healthy. And I just use this once after I've originally curled my hair. I don't use it every day because I feel like it can make your hair more susceptible to breakage. So I just use this once as soon as I've styled my hair and it does tend to keep the shine for a couple of days. With both my curly and straight styles, I can pretty much keep that style for a good two days after without having to re-style it with heat again. So that is pretty much it. Apart from day three of my hair wash, I think it's day three, before I go to bed, I have to use the Colab dry shampoo and I just spray this all over the roots of my hair and it just extends it for a fourth day so I don't have to wash my hair as often. And I love this dry shampoo. It's so weightless and it doesn't feel like you've got dry shampoo in your hair. One thing I do find though is you have to use it the night before. If you use it when your hair is already super greasy, it's going to do absolutely nothing for it. So that is my day-to-day -day routine. And then I thought I'd just include some tips for you guys for kind of growing long, healthier hair. My biggest tip would be just to always protect your hair. Like no matter how little or often you go for cuts, if you're not protecting your hair from heat damage and just the general wear and tear that happens like when you're out and about and the wind catches your hair and things like that, if you don't protect your hair from that, then it's going to break more easily. So I always, always use heat protectant. I get really annoyed if I go to shoots or to a hairdresser's where they don't use it and I will actively ask them to use some form of heat protectant on my hair because it's just so damaging to have heat used on it daily and to not protect it. And when I'm out and about, especially for me living in Brighton, the wind can wreak havoc on my hair and I just find that when it gets that super knotty, it can just break so much easier. It can get caught just on your hands when you're doing stuff throughout the day. So I always make sure that I tie my hair back if the weather is super crazy. And then I also use special detangling brushes. So I have my paddle brush for when I'm blow drying my hair. I also have a tangle teaser for my dry hair just when I want to brush through it and then I also use the wet brush for when my hair is wet and I want to brush it as well because it just goes through so much easier and it just tugs less on your hair as you're going through it so I just find that it minimizes the damage that is being done to my hair through brushing. So it's really important to be gentle and then also to put back in what you take out where you can so use detanglers and leave-in conditioners and hair masks because they do just help improve the condition of your hair so much and they'll change the way that you feel about your hair. It's important to just be patient. That's another one of my tips is just be patient with it because it's taken a year and four months for me to go from shoulder length to boob length. So you've just got to ride it out even when you hate it. Like I hated when my hair ended kind of 
at my chest. I just absolutely hated it. But you just have to be patient and ride that time out because eventually your hair will grow. Even when it gets to a point where you feel like it's stopped growing, it will eventually grow because hair does that. My other tip is regarding your diet. I know a lot of people try to speed that hair growth process up with like diet pills and hair and nail pills. Oh hi Nala. But for me I found that changes to my diet really really did help with the growing process so adding more fish to my diet, more eggs, more vegetables, just eating healthier in general and drinking more water really helped my hair to grow and I notice it grows so much quicker when my diet is better. So that is it for my little hair care routine, styling chat and tips for healthy hair that is going to be one long title going on in the info box but thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any questions feel free to pop them in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them where i can also if you have any video requests please pop them in the comments as well and i will see you guys on tuesday hopefully for a new vlog bye